Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are fit and fine. So let's start today's class. We have already started chapter number 8, Time, in your maths textbook, page number 143. Students, today I'll ask you one question and then we will start today's class. Students, tell me how you calculate the minutes when the minute hand is at a bigger number. Yes, we calculate the minutes when the minute hand is at a bigger number. That number we will multiply by number 5. Correct? This we had already learned in last class. Correct? So, when the minute hand is at a big marking. Big marking it means which marking? R marking. Yes, that time we calculate the minutes by multiplying the number at the marking by 5. For example, if this minute hand, if this minute hand is at number 6, is at number 6. So that time what you will do? What you will do that time? Yes, that time we will calculate this minutes by multiplying num multiplying number 5. So 6 multiplied by 5 or 5 multiplied by 6 equals to how many? 30. Because 6 5 is a 30, 5 6 is a 30. So it is 30 minutes. Correct? So if the minute hand is at a 6 and then the 6 5 is a 30 minutes. Correct? 6 5 is a 30 minutes. And now students tell me what is quarter past? Yes. When the minute hand is at number 3, it means it shows 15 minutes. And that time we call as a quarter past. And today we will learn, today we will learn half past. Half past means what? So, when the minute hand, if the minute hand, when this bigger hand is at number 6, is at number 6, that time it shows how many minutes? 6 fives are 30 minutes. So, it shows 30 minutes and this 30 minutes means this part is a half past. That time is called half past. When the minute hand is at a number 6. Okay. So, half past. It means if the minute hand is at 6. It shows 30 minutes. And it is called half past. And how to read our hand? Yes. The our hand is read by the number it crosses. If this our hand is at 1. It crosses number 1. And the minute hand is at 6. So it is half past 1. Because this R hand crosses number 1. So it is half past 1. Or 1 hour 30 minutes. Right? Okay. So the R hand is read by the bigger number it crosses. Okay? Let's see one example. For example... The hour hand has crossed 8 and the minute hand is at 6. If this hour hand, this hour hand has crossed number 8, means it is in between 8 and 9 and the minute hand is at number 6. Is at number 6. So, it is what? The time is, the time is, yes. It is 8 hour 30 minutes or half past 8 because it crosses number 8. Right? So, it is half past 8 or 8 hour 30 minutes because 30 minutes. Why 30 minutes? Because this minute hand is at number 6. So, 6 fives are 30. Correct? So, 30 minutes. See in this clock also you can see. Uh, the R hand has crossed number 8. 
it is between the number 8 and 9 yes it is in midway and the minute hand is at number 6 so so the time is 8 30 so the time is 8 30 and these two dots separates hours and minutes correct these two dots separates hours and minutes means 8 hour 30 minutes or instead of 30 we can write half past 8 okay or half past 8 half spelling h a l f half past p a s t past so half past 8 okay now look at another example suppose see this watch now tell me if this hour hand is at 3 if the hour hand has crossed number 3 and the minute hand is at number 6 is at number 6 correct now tell me the time is 3 30 or half past 3 because it crossed number 3 so always we read our hand first always we read hours and then we read minutes so here 3 hours 30 minutes instead of 30 minutes we can write half past 3 correct now tell me if this our hand is at 12 is at 12 and the minute hand means this our hand has crossed number 12 okay and this minute hand if this minute hand is at 6 now tell me the time so the time is 12 30 or half past 12 why half past 12 because it crossed number 12 and for half past it shows 30 minutes correct now open your maths textbook page number 146 write today's date that is 14 december 2020 done okay now read the first third question write the time shown by the clocks so here we have to write the time which is shown by the clocks okay so first always whenever you will write the time that time you will write the hours and then you will concentrate on the minutes correct okay now see first a very easy first concentrate on the hours hand now tell me the hour hand has crossed number 1 so it is 1 clear and the minute hand is at 6 6 it means how many minutes 30 minutes so it is 1 30 1 hour 30 minutes or instead of 30 minutes we can write half past 1 correct so it is 1 hour 30 minutes or half past 1 correct now see B1 and you have to write with me. So next B. Now concentrate on this clock and tell me the R hand is at. The R hand has crossed number 4 and the minute hand is at number 6. So it is 4 hours 30 minutes. Very good. So it is 4 hours 30 minutes. And instead of 30, we can write half past 4. So, write half past 4. Don't do the spelling mistakes. Write properly. Write in clean and neat handwriting. Done. And don't forget to give two dots because two dots separates hours and minutes. Done. Okay. Next, D. Now tell me where is the hour hand is that between 10 and 11 but it crossed number 10 and the minute hand is at number 6 it means 30 minutes and 10 hours so 10 we can write 30 minutes 10 hours no 
first always we will write hours so here 10 hours 30 minutes correct and we separated hours and minutes by two dots so write 10 hours 30 minutes and instead of 30 minutes we will write quarter past no because when you, when we used quarter past instead of 15 minutes now here we used half past so half past 10 half past 10 done okay next f here the minute hand is at number 6 and the hour hand has crossed number 11 so it is 11 30 very good 11 30 or half past 11 okay next question next question question number four draw hands on the clocks to show the time now here time is given and you have to draw the hands you have to draw the hands on the clocks to show the time to show the correct time okay okay so see first here 5 30 you have to show 5 30 5 30 now 5 hours 30 minutes so first we will draw our hand correct so our hand is a smaller hand or a bigger hand smaller hand so we will draw our hand as cross number 5 it means small hand draw as cross number 5 and the minute hand is at number 6 because it is 30 minutes so 6 fives are 30 so this is 30 minutes so it is 5 hours 30 minutes done okay next c b is your homework okay c half past 2 half past means what 30 minutes so in short it is 2 hours 30 minutes right so show me 2 hours 30 minutes now tell me which hand first i'll draw our hand and our hand at number 2 correct means it crossed number 2 so the small hand has crossed number 2 and the minute hand is at number 6 because it is half past it means 30 minutes correct so it is at number 6 done yes now in question number 3 clock c and e is your homework in question number 3 clock c and e homework and in question number 4 clock b is your homework clock b done okay i hope you have completed your first homework also and you will complete this homework also okay practice at home don't confused just understand what is quarter past what is half past yes half past means 30 minutes quarter past means 15 minutes right and how we calculate the minutes we calculate the minutes by multiplying when the bigger number when the minute hand is at bigger number that time we will that time only we will calculate the minutes by multiplying number 5 right so if the minute hand is at number 6 so we will multiply that 6 by number 5 so 6 5 is 30 minutes correct and 30 minutes means half past 15 minutes means quarter past correct smaller hand is our hand the bigger hand is minute hand over correct it is very easy to understand the clock but you have to do the practice because practice make a man perfect correct so for that purpose you have to do the practice and complete your homework